Good morning, it is Tuesday morning. We are definitely going through a major transformation from our humanity to our divinity. We're gonna unlock our divinity together today. Hey, do you speak about your problems or do you speak to your problems? Hey, with all the things going on in the world and they are happening fast. Man, there are thousands and millions of people around the world protesting and rights are being taken away and choices and you guys know what's going on in the world. And so the question is, do you speak about problems or do you speak to problems? So Mark 11:23 says, truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown in the sea. Now get this, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes those things shall come to pass. It will be done for you. Does not doubt in his heart. Matthew 17, 20. If you have the faith of a mustard seed, what's significant about a mustard seed? It's so small. If you have the faith that's so small, you can say to this mountain, that's your problem that looks like a mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Now get this, nothing will be impossible for you. That's why I have right here, Matthew 23, right? With God, all things are possible as a reminder. Then Proverbs 18, 21, life and death are in the power of the tongue. Now we know this, we know that when we speak words, that our words create in the world. That, that's, that's not a big secret, but get this. If you don't doubt in your heart, why does it say, if you don't doubt in your heart? Because there's tons of doubt in your mind. Your mind creates problems all the time, but your heart is where, you're, where you feel your spirit. Your heart is where the divine love is, God's spirit within us. And your heart also shows it's got 5,000 times the manifesting power. When you radiate from your heart, your ability to move that mountain, to say a word, and when you believe, and when you don't doubt, in your heart, that's faith. That is unwavering faith. When your faith is unwavering, you can speak to that mountain, speak to it, not about it, and cast it into the sea. Faith is not a thought. It's a state of being. Faith is a state of being. That's why all you need is a little. And you can create miracles. Because from your heart, you move. You have the power of God inside you. God's will were created in his likeness and image. And when that's consistent with his will, you can move. And God will move in front of you. And with God, all things are possible. And mountains can move. Right? But sometimes there's parts of our life where there's problems and it's referred to as dry bones. What's dry bones? Something in our life feels like it's dying. And what's that? What's What could be dying today? Hey, there's people's jobs. Nurses, doctors are walking off. Firemen are walking off their job. Policemen are walking off their job. Teachers are walking off their job. Pilots and flight attendants are walking off their job. 2,000 flights were canceled on Southwest this week. That's dry bones. That's like dry bones. Things may be changing and old things pass away, right? So in 2 Kings 13, 23, here's a story. And it came to pass as they were burying a man that behold, they spied a band of men and they cast the dead man into the sepulcher, which is probably an uh, un, uh, above ground grave of Elisha. He was a prophet 800 years before Jesus. And when the man was let down and touched the bones of Elisha. He revived and stood up on his feet because the dry bones of a prophet, the material, the word of God in our bones, do you feel the word of God in our bones turns life into dry bones? What are dry bones in our life? Because the word of God restores. What are dry bones in our life? Could be our marriage. It could be our children are having a hard time. It could be our finances. It could be that we have to change our whole career because we don't want to submit to a mandate. But life is restored. The dry bones are restored with the word of God. Are you, are you speaking about the problem or are you speaking the word of God into the problem? Because when God moves in your life, he's already ahead of you. What happens? Well, when God decides to move, 
the Red Sea parted, right? Seven plagues drove the Jews out of Egypt. When God wants to move, Jesus brought Lazarus from the dead. The man's dead body touched the bones of Elisha and his life was restored. When God moves, the stone rolled away, opened the temple, and a dead man walked out restored and alive. What dry bones do you need to restore in your life? Do you speak the word of God into those dry bones? Do you see a mountain and a challenge? Do you speak about that problem or do you speak to the problem? The divorce rate and COVID went through the roof. The suicide rate in teenagers went through the roof. Addiction went through the roof. Domestic violence went through the roof. Do we speak to the problem or do we speak about the problem? Hey, there's lots of people where old things are passing away. All things are becoming new. They have to leave their jobs. You know, there's the purpose may change as the world is changing. So what are the mountains in your life? What are the dry bones? Because the stone, the metaphorical stone is now rolling away. Do you feel that the stone is rolling away? The grave is open. Those dry bones are being restored. Those mountains are being cast in the sea. Don't stay in the tomb. Don't stay in the tomb and speak about the problems. Walk out of the tomb. Be revived. Restore life. You are more powerful than you think. The word of God comes out of your mouth, speaks to those problems. Let God move because God is never shy of miracles when you call on him. So when Jesus was cru crucified, Friday when he was crucified, there was emotional trauma. Saturday was silent. That's like the world right now. Saturday is silent. But now, can it be Sunday with your word? Can it be Sunday where the, where the stone is rolled away? Can it be Sunday where you come out of the tomb? So let's believe that God is ahead of us. Let's believe that we're created as like this an image. Let's believe 1 Corinthians where it said, the temple of God is holy and the temple is within us. The spirit of God is within us. And when we have faith in our heart, just a little bit like a, mus like a mustard seed, we can speak out into the world. And when God moves, nothing is impossible. And that's the power of unity that we have when God is ahead of us. Hey, miracles happen to those who believe the most and believe the longest. Miracles happen to those who believe the most and believe the longest. I believe there's miracles happening right now in your life. God is moving, no question. And let's pray. Father, we thank you that your word moves through us, that your spirit is in us. And with our words, we cast the mountain into the sea. With the word, we transform, we transform the world. You said, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you for all the people that choose to lose their jobs, that there's a purpose that is bigger, that their lives expand, that your abundant, loving life flows through us and creates greater things than ever before, that we're stepping into a life of your abundance, of your love, of your prosperity, of your power, of your authority. And as we speak your word through us, the world begins to change, that there is an evolution going on and thy will be done that we are creating heaven on earth right now we thank you that people that are sick are healed we thank you that your will is done in their life we thank you that our bodies are strong that we stay healthy that our mind and hearts become one with your word and your spirit and we speak into the world we speak to those mountains cast them into the sea that the dry bones are being revived with your word with your life in jesus name amen Let's speak to the mountains. Let's realize that we have the power to speak the word of God because he moves through us and let's make a difference and bring hope into the world today. Okay, I love you guys. Thanks.